What's up guys, Beastly Gamer here, welcome to the channel. Today I want to share some awesome news with you guys. It's awesome news, it's bittersweet news, it's sad news, it's it's news that kind of makes you have hope for humanity, you know. It, humanity's not all in the toilet because there are a lot of people in the world who make a lot of money. And when you make a shit ton of money, you lose touch with reality. You lose touch with what it's like to struggle, what it's like to work a nine to five, what it's like to work from check to check, what it's like to actually have to survive and take care of people. When you make millions of dollars and you don't have to worry about anything and you've been living that life for a long time, you soon fall out of touch with reality. And that's something that happens to a lot of celebrities. If you sat down and had a conversation with just your average celebrity, a million dollar celebrity, multi-million dollar celebrity, you can't have the same conversation with them because they don't live inside your circle of reality. It's not the same for them. Every now and then you come across a story where someone who's wealthy does something that's really awesome for someone who isn't. And this is one of those stories. I'll drop a link in the description. Daniel Fleetwood, first Star Wars fan to see The Force Awaken, dead at 32. Disney and director J.J. Abrams screened an unfinished cut of the film for the terribly ill man just last week. Daniel Fleetwood, the terminally ill young man who was granted his dying wish to see the new Star Wars movie, The Force Awaken, has died at age 32. Fleetwood suffered from a spindle cell sarcoma, a rare connective tissue cancer, and in July, his doctors gave him only two months to live. On Tuesday morning, his wife Ashley confirmed his death on Facebook, quote, Daniel put up an amazing fight to the very end. He is now one with God and with the Force. He passed in his sleep and in peace. He will always be my idol and my hero. Please hug Uncle Mark for me and give Lucy lots of kisses. Rest in peace, my love. This is the last selfie we ever took together. End quote. That was his wife who wrote that. The Star Wars fan's last wish was to see The Force Awakens, and it was granted by Disney, Lucasfilm, and director J.J. Abrams, who showed Fleetwood an unfinished cut of the film at his home last week. Abrams also called Fleetwood to deliver the good news, which his family said meant a lot to him. Fleetwood's wife added, quote, To all our wonderful supporters, friends, family, and awesome strangers, Daniel's final dream was just granted. Today, the wonderful Disney and Lucasfilm made his dream come true. In the amazing, typical Disney way, they really do make dreams come true. Lastly, I want to thank all the amazing people who helped make this happen. Thank you beyond words. May the force be with you all, end quote. Fleetwood had been a Star Wars devotee since he was a little boy and was very much looking forward to seeing the next chapter in the iconic sci-fi series. With his condition worsening, doctors grew concerned that he wouldn't live to see the Force Awakens hit theaters on December 18th, and an inspiring social media movement took off from there. Among those who urged Disney to grant Fleetwood his wish were Star Wars actors Mark Hamill, John Boyega, and Carrie Fisher, who all retweeted it with the hashtag Force for Daniel. This is an awesome story. J.J. Uh, Abrams, Disney, who actually my YouTube is partnered with, uh, Lucasfilm, I would, I'll say thank you. This, this made this guy's dream come true, man. And I can only imagine there are very few things in life that I would want to focus on if I had terminal cancer, if I was terminally ill. It'd be a lot of thought and a lot of deliberate thought on what I would want to do or try to do. But the fact that this company, these people, Mark Hamill, John Boyega, who's the new Finn in the movie, Carrie Fisher, of course, is Princess Leia. They all got behind this movement and helped this happen for this man who is terminally ill. There's a lot of people in the world who are terminally ill. And we got enough money to buy all the guns in the world and, and keep wars going for five million years. But we can't afford to do something awesome for these people. I'm just happy to see that there's a company, there's people out there who are extremely wealthy, who have not lost touch with the real world, with real people who are still connected in some way. And I wanted to share this news with you guys because to me, this is uplifting. It kind of gives you more hope for humanity. That everybody isn't shooting up schools. Everybody isn't killing cops. Cops aren't killing everybody. There's still good things that happen every day. And I like to focus on the positive. So I hope this is something positive. It's kind of bittersweet, but it's still a good end for someone who really didn't have any other choice. He was going and, and people looked out for him. Companies looked out for him and helped him go in a way that best suited him. He was a Star Wars fan. Obviously, he loved the series, probably knows a lot more about the series than I do. Uh, and he was going out, you know, he knew he was leaving here and he knew he wasn't going to live to see the screening. And I'm just really happy that there was someone in a position of control and power that stepped back, took a look at this guy's situation and, and did something kind, you know, as a last gesture for someone who's lived here on this earth. 
we got enough money to, for the government to keep us in war for 500 years and we can buy all the guns and ammunition and, and we can bicker back and forth on the news about negatives, but we can't do something kind for people who are passing on, people who are terminally ill. I know that there's a lot of people out there who are terminally ill. I just think it'd be awesome if more people did things like this for them. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. If you did, be sure to give a thumbs up and show support on my channel. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.